alien city discovered on the dark side of the moon. Did aliens and UFOs stop NASA from returning back to the moon? And your top 5 UFO sightings for the day. Hello YouTube, welcome back to UFO Uncensored. I'm your host Michael A and we have some big news for the UFO community today. This could be a find of a lifetime, but before we get to that, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a video. Make sure you watch to the end of the video because I'm going to be leaving the video off with the top 5 UFO sightings for the day. Now without wasting any more time, let's get to it. You ever wonder why NASA doesn't want to go back to the moon despite the fact that Earth's moon looks dull and lifeless even to the naked eye? Some conspiracy theorists remain adamant that aliens could reside there. Despite there being no evidence, UFO hunters have long claimed that aliens could be hiding away from humanity's watchful eye living on the far side of the moon. One side of the moon is always facing Earth thanks to the gravitational pull of tides on our planet, a process known as tidal locking. For this reason, conspiracy theorists claim that the far or dark side of the moon will be the perfect place for aliens to live. And now, NASA satellite images have shown a light on the dark side and appear to show structures which cast shadows. Conspiracy theory Scott C. Warning has been analyzing NASA's satellite images and believes he has spotted some of these structures and even goes as far to say that they are artificial. On top of that, Mr. Warning believes that NASA has been trying to hide the evidence and has been lying to the rest of the world. Now, we shouldn't be shocked that NASA is lying and hiding things from the public because if you check out my other videos, you'll see live feed cover-ups and a whole bunch of other BS excuses that NASA gives. So this wouldn't be the first. Now, I'm not sure why they're lying or what they're hiding, but they are definitely doing things in secrecy. The UFO Hunter wrote on his ET database blog, you're looking at cities on the moon. You see there are three types of buildings I have identified on the moon. First is the metallic buildings which have angles like human buildings, but these are always smaller compared to the other two. Second are the white ceramic buildings. These will have black windows, yet the surface of the building is so shiny that it looks like lights reflecting off the surface. Their shape is usually round or oval, never with sharp angles, always smooth edges. Now if you're like me and you watch any documentaries or YouTube videos on alien or UFO objects, they're usually always smooth, oval shaped, and they have no sharp edges, zero. So that is interesting that Scott says that and I can say I agree with him. He then says, third are dark buildings. These are the most unusual and seen biomechanics or living structures that were grown. These are flat black, meaning they have no reflective surfaces. They are massive, up to hundreds of kilometers long. They often have small buildings near the entrances with many four to eight, usually tunnel-like attachments going back and forth. But this is even more insane. He's not only saying that there are building-like structures on the moon, but they have tunnels that connect to the buildings. So the question that just comes to my mind is, is there an advanced transportation system on the moon? I mean, to me, this whole question if are aliens real is just like a big puzzle. And the more facts that come out, the closer we get to building that puzzle. So this is not the first time we hear about tunnels with openings or the idea of ancient cities being on the moon. I want you guys to check out this video that was floating back in 2006. There's a huge fleet of UFOs exiting from some sort of opening that was in the moon. You see that? You guys see that on the left side of the screen? The fleet of UFOs exiting the moon? Right there. There you go. You can see it if you look close. I'll even put some arrows on the screen so you can get a better look at it. Now, here's another video I want to show you all. Um, it's again UFOs leaving the moon and look how crazy that is. You can just see one right there and the video is in different shades of color that allow you to see the UFO a lot more clearer. Like, like this one right here. And it just has me thinking, how much do we really know about the moon? What else is going on in the moon? So again, this isn't the first time that we see UFOs leaving the moon or hear about any alien activity on the moon.
you know, I used to believe in NASA. I held them up on a pedestal with the highest of admiration. But then I discovered they lied to us, right? This is not the first time a mysterious structure has been found on the lunar surface. Some conspiracy theorists claims the moon could be occupied by aliens and that is the reason NASA has not returned since the Apollo missions ended in the 1970s. Alright guys, now we could be talking about something huge here, right? From the videos, from the research that Scott has done, there could be an alien civilization on the moon with an advanced transportation system that keeps the city interconnected. This could be a game changer. And this moves us closer to the truth, to the question, are we really alone? But I wanna know what you guys think about today's video. Are there alien civilizations on the dark side of the moon? And are aliens the reason why NASA does not wanna go back to the moon? Leave your comments below. Now, before we head out, make sure you check out last week's video real ufo confirmed by the pentagon it was huge news i mean it's something that i never thought we see or hear in 2020 and if you like that video make sure you smash that like button because it helps us grow in so many different ways subscribe click the notification bell because i post two to three videos a week and you don't want to miss out and i'm going to leave it on this note thank you to everyone who recently subscribed i can honestly i cannot believe it uh, last week we had 62 subs, but now UFO and Sensor is over 100 subscribers. And finally, here's your top 5 UFO sightings for the day. Yo, Chester, what is this? These are red lights. Kind of got out of somewhere. This is a real video. Uh, I'm in Richmond. I'm gonna hold this up to move on. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you like that video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and click the notification button because, again, we got a lot of videos coming out. And until next time, peace.
The Pentagon officially releases UFO videos. Does this change everything?